lots of fun. Superbook fell off a shelf. Look what they've done. When it hit the computer, all they were surprised. Superbook got programmed in. Now it's computerized. Now it's computerized. Our story for today... Faithful and true! Welcome once again to the house just down the street and around the corner, where strange and wonderful things happen. Oh, look, there's Professor Peeper. Watch what happens to him. Uriah! Oh, my goodness, no! Huh? What's the matter? They simply disappeared. Yuri and the robot both... Really? Mm, it's absolutely a fact. They both vanished in a flash of light. Uh, maybe you only imagined you saw them. No, Joy, my eyes did not deceive me. Well, maybe Joy has a point. There comes a time in every man's life. You mean I'm... I wouldn't want to be critical, but what you describe is kind of off the wall. Yes, I suppose it could be so described. But I will have you know that I am not usually given to hallucinations, and I intend to get to the bottom of this. So there. Don't worry about it, Dad. Just relax and read your books, because Joy and I promise to check it out. Well, thank you, but... Oh, don't worry about it, Professor. We promise to let you know what we find out. Well, if you say so. Do a thorough investigation. That's what we'll do. Well, we got him off the track for the time being, but... What do we do about getting them back? Better try to reach them. Right, first things first. See where they went? It looks like ancient Israel. Yes, Joy's right. It is ancient Israel. And there's Michael, Jonathan, and their father, King Saul, all waiting for the triumphal return of their new young general, David. See how they welcome Israel's hero, Michael? Because they know he wins with God's help. Plus, being brave. So, they've credited David with tens of thousands, but me with only thousands. <laughs> yes, David had killed the mighty giant Goliath, and that put an end to the long war with the Philistines, and peace reigned throughout the land, at least for a while. Look at all the people. What's all the fuss about? They welcome home the shepherd boy who beat the giant. David? I would say so. Oh, that must be Chris and Joy calling. How come you two teleported yourselves now? That wasn't very smart, leaving the way you did. I'm sorry, but I simply have to find Ruffles. Okay, but be more careful. Listen, we think we spotted Ruffles. Really? Where is she? There! The image on the picture tube was sharp. She seems to be in the same place and time frame. Wait! We gotta go now. Bye! Excuse me! Excuse you for what? I just wanna know if you've seen Wuggles. Something to eat? Something to wear, perhaps? No, she's my pet dog. She's only about this big. A pet pooch? 
<laughs> We're looking for more important objects than that. <laughs> <laughs> so so let's say it's thousands, thousands, and David is tens of thousands. thousands. So let's say it's thousands, and David is tens of thousands. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. David. Huh? Your Majesty, you must be tired, David. Not really. I'm just not used to being considered famous. <laughs> well, you'd better get used to it, because David's a name on everybody's lips. I'd much rather have them take me for what I really am, a simple shepherd completely surrendered to the power of God, and someone God has smiled upon. Believe me, Jonathan, by myself I could have done nothing. Jonathan! Huh? Oh, Michael, it's you. We didn't know anyone was eavesdropping. I wasn't eavesdropping, brother, but maybe I should be if you two are gossiping about me. Nothing so boring. Oh, Jonathan, uh, don't be so mean. You're always teasing. Oh, oh. Oh. Hi. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Oh, dear. Mm hmm uh, Enough. No more fanning. Oh, yes, sir. Have you heard, Your Majesty, about your daughter, Michael, and the handsome David? What? Tell me about it. Everyone is saying they're in love. In love? The bravest man in the country and the princess. It's romantic beyond words. When do you think the marriage will take place, Your Majesty? David. Oh, no! David, 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 that's all I hear. I'm sick of it. Now get out and stay out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away. Marry my daughter indeed. What a bummer. Everyone wants to talk about Dave, but Waffles, nobody. Too bad. Well, Chris saw her on the computer. Maybe we can too. Nothing. Dumb old computer, why don't you work? Don't bang the screen. It's broken anyway. No, it's not. Then why doesn't it show us where Waffles is? Chris found her on his computer. I don't know. Then there's no point in counting on your help. Just a big hunk of junk. No, please, Fred, and Yuri, that was not nice. Help me. <laughs> Love between the bravest man and the princess. And yet, yes, I just might be able to make good use of their romance. <laughs> I swear, we've never been... Please do not be concerned, David. It would please me greatly if my daughter and you were married. But what right have I, a poor shepherd of no importance, that I might hope to become the son-in-law to a king, sir? You have the divine right of freedom of choice. Besides, David, it would please me very much if you were to marry my daughter. Really? But only if you can deliver 100 of the enemy. 100 Philistines? Vengeance on my enemies is all I want, and if you can help me have it, then you shall have Michael. What is your answer, brave warrior? <laughs> all right, Your Majesty, I accept it. Fine, David, my boy. I'll be off. <laughs> How stupid to believe he could murder a hundred Philistines without being murdered. <laughs> In fact, David and his men went out and killed 200 Philistines. Though this was not what Saul had hoped for, his troops were victorious, and Saul kept his word. David won the battle and the hand of Michael in marriage. Jonathan, what is it? I would like to propose a toast to the bride and groom. To health! And oh! Right. 
Thank you, Jonathan. Michael, you know I really mean it. You have a great husband, and I have a great friend. Right. Is that David playing for Father? It never fails. If Father becomes moody, the music always lifts his spirits. But knowing the way Father feels about David, will it always work? Let's hope. Mm. what your king tells you if you value your life. I know you want to kill me. Uh, Admit it. Father, what's going on here? Doesn't David's harp music make you feel better? <laughs> Are you all right, David? No. Oh, David. David. <laughs> David. Yes? Darling. What? What is it? David, darling, you must get away before Father kills you out of his jealousy. You must be kidding. I'm serious, David. If you don't leave tonight, you may be dead by tomorrow morning. Yes, but... Don't worry about me. Oh, Michael. I'll do it. Jonathan, for two days, David has not joined us for meals. Why? Because he went to Bethlehem to visit with his family there. So, my son joins his plot now. My father, what makes you think that David is trying to harm you? If we don't do away with David, he will take my kingdom from me. Wrong. You make it seem as if David were an evil schemer. But you're the one who's plotting to get rid of a man who's completely faithful. <laughs> you traitor! <laughs> He would not only kill David, he would kill his own son. The day after tomorrow, go to the place where you hid when the trouble began and wait behind the stone. I will shoot three arrows to the side of it. Then I will send a boy to find the arrows. However, if I say, look, the arrows are on this side, bring them back here, then you will know you're safe because there's no danger. But if I say to the boy, look, the arrows are beyond you, then you must go. For then you will know it's not safe for you to return to the king's palace. And may the Lord call David's enemies to account. Let it be so. <laughs> huh? Now then, I want you to run and find the arrows when I shoot them and bring them back here. All right. Off you go. Yeah. Find them. The arrow is far beyond you. You must go quickly. Thank you. Now, please, take them back to the palace. Right.
It's a fact, David. Father must be completely insane. He even tried to murder me. What? You must flee. But even then, he's bound to pursue you. I know you were right, Jonathan. Even though I bear no ill will toward him, you are truly my friend. Mm. We have sworn an oath of friendship. Will you watch over Michael for me, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. David, may you go in peace, and may our friendship live forever. Yeah. And so David fled from one place to another, from Nob to Gath to Abdulam and Mizpah. Finally, David and his men, for he had gathered more than 600 followers, camped in a cave at En Gedi. But Saul was relentless in his pursuit of David. With 3,000 chosen men from all over Israel, he showed no mercy but killed whoever had helped David. It's all my fault. Because of me, so many have been killed. Their sacrifice is too much. What do you intend to do? I will talk with the king. What? Perhaps I can persuade him that I am not his enemy. Wait, David. Don't forget, the Lord has picked you to become the next king of Israel. Don't do anything rash. Right. True. Nothing, Nothing must happen to you. For yourself. You're sure of that? Yes, your majesty. I saw him myself. David is in a cave at En Gedi. Good. Call out all my men. I will lead the raid myself. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I myself shall have the pleasure of killing him. <laughs> I'm tired and hungry. I want to go home, but I can't without Gizmo. Sorry I was so mean, Gizmo. I was dumb. Huh? What's that? Where, oh, where has my master gone? Where? Oh, where? Wait! It's my protector, Wawa Gizmo! <laughs> oh, Master, I have found you. You are great, Wawa. I missed you, Gizmo. I am sorry, but I could not find your dog. Don't worry about it, my old friend. Come on, let's teleport ourselves back home, shall we? Yes, but... Huh? That bark sounds like... But how could it be? Look around, Gizmo! Look out! Go first. Go again. Gizmo! Coming! Did you find her? Look, Gizmo, there she is! Really? <laughs> That's our dog. We didn't find her. She oh, found Oh, happy us. day. Come on, Ruffles! Come on! Careful, Master. Don't leave too far. That's it! some plan we don't know about yet? Just wait. All right, where's David? Where's his hiding place? You may be sure David and his men are hiding somewhere in the caves around this place. But the sun is set and it will soon be too dark. Uh, much better to wait until dawn, your majesty. Would that I could bring back the sun. All right, men. His mouth! The Lord has delivered your enemy into our hands. Hold it! Oh, yes, sir.
Majesty. Huh? Why aren't you searching for David? What do you mean by sitting around? Obey me! Don't just sit there. Get a move on! My lord the king. Huh? What? Huh? David. So! You can put your sword up now. In my hand, I hold a piece of your robe. Huh? Whoa. While you slept, uh -oh. I cut a piece of your robe. Uh -oh. I could have killed you just as easily, but I didn't. Because... I could not lift my hand against one who has been anointed by the Lord. Tell me, would you now murder me, your faithful servant? Uh, David, you are more righteous than myself, a true and faithful friend. May the Lord reward you for the way you treat me. Thank you, Your Majesty. So David proved himself to be a much nobler man than the nobleman he served. Saul returned home, but David and his men went up to their stronghold. To all appearances, Saul's anger and jealousy were laid to rest. But David wondered. Waffles was there. Both of us saw her. Really? Most strange. How come she disappeared all of a sudden? Tell me that. Hmm. In this gain of time and space, there may exist a crack or two, and Ruffles just fell in. That's over my head. What I mean to say is that perhaps there does exist a warp in time, if you follow me. Mm -mm. Just forget what I have said. It's much too hard to grasp. This we know. Ruffles is alive and well. All we have to do is find her. Uh, wait, Gizmo! Let's get her! Let's go! I'm sorry, Gizmo. Gosh, did you get hurt? Nothing that a laugh won't heal. <laughs>